I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Empire Tarot. Yes, I am back doing your collective love readings. I will be here daily to do these love readings for you, any and all signs. All of you are welcome. Please do smash the like, subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, if you are returning, welcome. So happy to see you all back here again. I will be uploading between 9 and 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to get a personal reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Okay. Let's get into this. Hello everyone, let's see what your next set of messages are going forward for you. As I was shuffling the deck, the lovers did pop out here. So hopefully this will be a very positive message for you uh, from the time you're listening to this reading going into through the middle of November. Okay, let's take a look and see what messages do you have spirit for the collective okay girl with a snake in the reverse so that's a good sign and heart with a key okay and healthy choices awesome okay girl with a snake in reverse okay so looks like the end of a narcissist slash empath type of a relationship um I feel like there might have been a type of connection that you had in the past or maybe a waking up to some type of a relationship or types of people where you may have felt like um, you were being charmed or used by certain people or you were enabling certain relationships not having boundaries it looks like now you do have some boundaries here and making healthier choices going forward in your life which is good and in love you're doing the self-care self-love being happier and you have heart with a key so welcoming love meeting the one opening your heart getting together and having that perfect connection with someone so like i said the lovers is here so definitely an energy of true love okay could be with a gemini for some of you or you are a gemini Okay, so let's get into this and see what's going on. Um, so definitely an energy of like making better choices, um, making a decision to love, not holding yourself back. I feel like you, it feels like you are just more aware now and you know what to look for, you know what types of people are out there and you know now um where to have boundaries and where no more enabling certain types of behaviors not only with in uh, like with other people but within yourself at this time so this is really this is a positive message for you and i do feel like you're going to connect with someone um in this time period for sure coming together with a beautiful having a beautiful love connection this feels like someone whom you know you choose each other it's not just you choosing them or just them choosing you it's you two connecting and choosing each other so i like that okay let's see what else does spirit want you to know here okay so wow you've got the fool i feel like <laughs> this is taking a risk going on this adventure definitely wow making a, another choice card decision um hmm this could be a long distance relationship where it's traveling to meet someone or two people connecting long distance um two people making a decision to connect so you may be traveling um, we have the holidays coming so that energy is playing out you may receive a message or you may be sending a message to someone about connecting long distance um, making this decision uh, there's a decision, a decision being made to connect with someone that um, where there's two people falling in love taking a risk to be together to connect okay so we do have so Aquarius energy also Pisces it feels like um I just heard night flight taking a night flight I'm hearing that as well um, hmm
I just heard okay so so the first court card could be with a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn or you are a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn um, this is an energy of someone who does not really show their emotions um, just a little bit They're they have deep feelings but they only reveal a little bit of their feelings they're not like um, they're more business-minded. This is someone who's kind of reserved. They're a bit reserved. They're very focused on their their money. Their you know their aesthetic, nice clothes. Very stable kind of a person. Um, so either I feel like this person is kind of going out on a limb here for love. Definitely, this is someone who I do feel it's not really um, an energy. It's not really the type of person that takes big risks they don't they like to just plop their butt down sit in front of their computer and work on their taxes or look at their look at their crypto <laughs> analytics this is not someone who just takes off um i feel like there's a huge love situation happening here and i mean obviously they're gonna kind of like contemplate a little bit like you know it's not should I or shouldn't I. It's more like when will I? <laughs> now or now or later, right? It's it's not if I should. It's when will I? So I definitely feel like it's should I should I go? Should I visit? Should I should we meet up at night or during the day? Like when is a good time for you? This kind of feels to me like this person. <clears throat> they are they are like i don't know when you guys meet you might be meeting um there's a love situation happening around november 6th i want to tell you that like there's a connection that gets made around or a falling in love feeling you maybe you're already connecting with them there's a falling in love feeling around november 6th yes 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 between november 6th and they're telling me the 18th so there's definitely a falling in love feeling like pow emotions feelings it's like oh this is it time to go gotta connect and i feel like it's not really what this person does they don't just drop everything to, to and go to meet someone for just no reason i feel like this person really feels that connection with you you know and they're like yeah i'll do it yeah just tell me when not if just tell me when and i'll be there to connect with you absolutely and i, I just i smell someone smells really good i get this really like fresh and clean i just i can smell someone sm like this person they just smell very good it's so good <laughs> And I feel like that will be something that you will notice um, when you connect with them. I, I don't know if it's the hair. I can't tell you exactly what the smell is, the scent. But I don't know if it's the hair or something that they're wearing, or the fresh, clean scent of their clothing, or just their skin. It's, it's just so, just so um, pleasant, just such a nice, pleasant scent. It's very nice. It must be coming from this moon as well because i feel like the moon is 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 all about the senses it's very sensual and the, the the emotions like it's very triggering it's something i feel like yeah look at this all this travel energy this reading has a lot of travel connected to it okay yeah so this person whatever they have to do they're just gonna do be done with it they're just gonna end just be done with it just be done with it i mean okay your reading's over i'll see you later <laughs> okay just kidding so yeah this person oh wow ten of pentacles and then oh my gosh the chariot i definitely feel like this person is coming like they want to win you over that's for sure and this person is like they're coming in for some kind of a, a long-term thing you know what i mean if this is not someone who's interested in any kind of just messing around i don't get the vibe that this person will just 
drop everything they're doing and take this gigantic leap of faith just for a fling. I don't feel that way at all. I mean, they're coming by train, bus, automobile, plane, whatever. I don't, I don't feel like this person is coming to see you for no reason. There's, and it's not, it's not for anything other than something long term and to leave some kind of a legacy. It's, it's, it's more than just to have a fling. You know what I mean? That That's just the strongest energy I pick up with this person. Okay, so with that chariot energy, that is right there, like looking at the map, plugging in the, the GPS, navigating points, figuring out where to go, hotel, <clears throat> how to get to from point A to point B, how to get there, where to meet, that kind of energy. It's definitely there. How to get to you. You could be a water sign. They could be a water sign, you could be an earth sign, they could be an earth sign, whichever. It's really taking a look at, like, this is like, even if they can't figure out exactly how to get there, like, they intuitively will figure it out. They already have, like, this intuitive map of how to connect to you. Um, wow, okay. So this, this reading feels really positive, and I feel like... Um, you know, and it can be reversed as well. It doesn't just have to be this person. It could be you as well. Um, being the one, you know, who is deciding to make a healthy choice. No longer dealing with people who are just taking advantage of you or trying to use you or play games with you. Really looking for something long term and connecting with someone. And really taking this place in your life where you want to settle down with someone as well so you know it could go either way it depends on who's listening um if you're already that person who's who's willing to settle down you've already arrived then somebody else is coming here to meet you halfway and vice versa okay so i like the energy i like the way this is playing out let me see how are you going to meet this person i just want to know how is the collective going to meet this person? Hmm, through a friend. It's either through a friend or through some type of um, online communication. Okay, or it may not be a friend, but through another person, through a third party. Or through some kind of online communication. Oh, it could also be through a couple as well. Okay, could be through a couple of apps too. Communication apps, I just heard. But um, could be through another couple. A married couple. Could be introduced through a couple introduced through a married couple right that kind of energy is playing out you could meet on like a dating app as well a couple maybe a dating app something maybe that you signed up for um for some of you or in some kind of um like a marriage group or a family group or uh, it could be through family members as well yeah um you might already know this person through family i want to give you that as well for some of you okay let me see anything else the collective needs to know about this what will the outcome be for this relationship going forward the outcome for this relationship okay hmm why is the nine of wands here Why is the Nine of Wands here? This is boundaries. Being persistent. Oh. Hmm. The Death card. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's not just about being persistent either. It's also, um, 
It's also about figuring out ways to protect this relationship from um, ending, to keep it transformative, to also, um, I want to say it, the relationship, I, I want to say the relationship is going to go through a lot of transformations and changes, which is not really um, abnormal. Relationships always tend to do that anyway. And figuring out this, this can be a card of strategy. So it feels to me like instead of kind, I feel like this relationship will be able to withstand the ups and downs. That's what I'm hearing. Um, sometimes when the going gets tough, the tough get going, believe it or not. And when you go into the relationship, understanding that times are going to get tough, but as long as we know that we're going to face some obstacles and hurdles, if we can face them together and not give up, and support each other no matter what we can get through this stuff together no matter what changes come about right it's kind of like being prepared before battle and having each other's back and i feel like this is the wounded soldier the wounded warrior here and this is like you know what not giving up even though there may be times when we face endings or we face struggle um i feel like this relationship has the fortitude, the strength to face death and still come out renewed and healed and even better than before. So that that's very positive. This is basically like, I've got your back and I have yours too, no matter what. So that's like till death do us part, pretty much till we're up in heaven all the way all the way so this is amazing this is like a most fantastic reading most fantastic and pretty much like almost all the signs are here so it is very much a collective reading okay so uh i'm just get a couple more cards so you got positive vibes so this is good very positive very functioning relationship i love it because it's workable and it's like two people who are just kind of like at, hit rock bottom and are just like, you know what? I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to like whatever it takes. I feel like it kind of feels like two people are just kind of tired and have one last in them to put in the effort to make something work. You know, it's like kind of like, oh, the end of the line here and <laughs> what's left? Give it the old college try. Um, we got one last passionate start here. Let's make it happen, you know, and have that new beginning to happen here. So I like it. I feel like it's very positive. I do want to get a charm for you. Okay. You have... Oh, you've got a little bunny rabbit. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so maybe your person's born in the year of the rabbit. Uh, or you are. Okay, little bunny rabbit. So that represents to me like spring, new beginnings, new growth, having a new start, um, being excited, hopping around like rabbits. I'm not going to say what I was going to say about that, but you can exchange the word hopping around. But yeah, this is great. This is beautiful. This is like, this makes me feel like it's brand new, like a brand new thing happening here. So that's good. So leave it there. Good luck. If you need a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below. And uh, if you, um, yeah, I'm still running a special for October going until the end of October. So do go ahead and grab that. And there's only a few spots left, so yeah, definitely check that out. And if you want to join my OnlyFans for more spicier readings, I can't use those cards I used to use here on my channel. YouTube doesn't let me anymore, so I went over to OnlyFans and I use those. Uh, if some of you remember from years ago, I use those cards over there now. All right, you guys, have a great night, and I will see you back here tomorrow. I was the only one. No one likes being lied to. You made this mess and left me with